Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram and over on Facebook at Me Crafty Scrapper Creates. Um, if you are not a subscriber here, please do so. If you love paper crafting, you're going to love my channel. <laughs> I hope so anyway. Um, and maybe some of my other faithful subscribers can attest to that. Um, I wanted to share a few little things with you before we get to our project. Uh, one is I got another package from Missy um, and she has some of the cutest uh, clips and they're decorative clips for your projects whether you be a journaler um, if you do junk journals or Bible journaling or whatever she has some of the cutest clips and they are decorative she makes them herself uh, she owns the shop called Berry Sweet Plans on Etsy. And um, right now she has these grab bags. They're mystery grab bags. Who does not like a mystery grab bag? I know that y'all have a fit every time we have mystery bags or mystery kits in the shop. So um, look at this. Um, let me check the price on this. Okay, so U.S. pricing, of course. Um... This grab bag, grab bag was $12. $12, y'all. And y'all wait and see how many clips is in this. $12. And um, I got the fall one. I think she's got a Christmas one. She's got, um, I think, a Halloween one. And then there might be a winter-themed one, too. I can't, I can't recall at this very moment. But, oh, my gracious. Okay, so that's the free pack. First off, look at the little baggie you get your items in. Beautiful. Look at these. It's a little teardrop clip. Look how pretty. And that can go at the bottom of your page, planner or whatever, etc., etc., etc. Here we go. I'm just going to put it on the bag one so y'all can... Maybe see it a little bit better. Look at that. How gorgeous. And then like for your planner or your journal or whatever, um, you would put this either at the top or bottom. Uh, it's your page marker, but it's also just decorative. Look at that. Sticking out of the bottom there. This is so cute. I love it. It's got a little leaf on it. Beads and a tassel gorgeous fall colors here is another teardrop and it has a little leaf bow ribbon on it some more little dangles there and a tassel how cute I mean $12 for all of this y'all not just $12 for one bling dangle because I've seen those look at that See, I love using these in my planners uh, as place markers in my journals. Look at the sparkle in that one. Too pretty. Ooh, this is one of the bigger. This is a rose gold clip. Look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> these are so pretty, Missy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad that I went ahead and did that I was like mmm mystery oh everything she meant because at first I was like oh what if I get something I, I don't I don't like but I was like mmm who are you who are you thinking about Missy makes everything beautiful and everything she makes I would love look at that pumpkins all over it it's got a blingy middle sparkly middle on a black clip that is too cute. That's screaming for end of October, putting it on my planner page. Look at the plaid on this one on a brown clip. Too cute. This one is gorgeous. It's, oh, I got a little um set. Cute. Okay, so a little dangle there that you can put on a um, elastic and a 
traveler's notebook if you wanted to. It's got pink pumpkins in it. And then two flag clips to go along with it. So a little set I got in that. That should be $12 all by itself. But then I got all this other stuff. And I hadn't even opened up the free gift yet. Missy. This is gorgeous. Look at that ribbon. So pretty. Now let's open up the free pack that I just dropped in the floor and see what I got in this one. Oh my goodness, how cute. It's got lemons and watermelons on it. Two pretty. Ooh, look at that blue one. That is so cute. Oh, it's got little bags on it, like vintagey looking bags and florals. That's darling, Missy. I love that one. I love that ribbon. Too pretty. Look at all those that I got for $12. Oh, I love them, Missy. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And um, for anybody thinking, oh, she sends these to her free of charge, and so that's why she's gushing over them. No, I bought these with my own money. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I just love Missy's Etsy shop. I have been buying from her for years. And she has never once disappointed me with everything that I have gotten. I mean, this stuff is gorgeous, Missy. Great job, again. And um, I will be getting a Christmas mystery bag, too. All right. So I had seen um, the advertisements for the new Sharpie S-Gel pens. And I wanted to try them out. So I got them and wanted to see how they um, would write. And I mean, I love Sharpie anyway. I'm a Sharpie fan. So I just wanted to give y'all my review on them. Uh, this one, this pack is the uh, 0.7 millimeter so the medium point pack, and 0.7 is my point of choice that I usually, anytime I have a pen, um, you know, you got 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and then one millimeter. One millimeter is very bold. Five is a little too fine for me. So usually I pick the 0.7. So that's what I've got here. I'm just trying to get the little sealer ball off the point here all right so the sharpie s gel now this is a um, black only ink um, pack and then i got a pack that's got um, black red blue and green so i want to try those out all right i don't think i've got all that little ball off of there nope i don't there we go all right so Sharpie S gel review. Uh, Y'all, I'm telling you, this is flowing really nicely. Now, the S, when I first started, of course, you know, it's got to get started. But other than that, this is very flowy. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so I'm sold. Let's try the other colors. All right, so green, red, and blue. Um, let's get the sealer balls off, the points. Um, I don't know that I've ever written with a green ink pen. Now, marker, yes, of course, but... Um, I was intrigued when I saw this little rainbow ink pack, so we shall see. All right, here's the blue. Now, used to, um, when I was in college, we were told 
um, either you get the big <laughs> blue ink pens or you get the big black ink pens. But that's it. That's all you can use. So <laughs> here is the blue Sharpie S gel. Blue Sharpie. S gel very flowy I love it okay red sharpie S gel I don't have all that ball off of there um, these were also the uh, 0 0.7 millimeter red sharpie S gel just as flowy all right and then the one that intrigued me the most green oh that's a nice green color sharpie s gel oh i like them y'all they flow really well they're not skipping i like it i like it and you're just getting like i went over the s a couple of times so you get a little bit of a faint ghosting with it but that's all you're getting through just I mean this is like coffee paper weight paper and um, you're just barely getting a little ghosting through it oh I like it I like these and they feel good in your hand so I'm giving them an A plus so if anybody wanted to know anybody needed a review on the new Sharpie S gel pens highly recommend all right, and then I had the Coco Daisy um, October kit. Now, I had been only getting the um, stamp sets, and I will show you those, but fall is my favorite of all, so I had to get one other kit, and there still are some of this kit left so um, I will leave that link in the description box below and y'all need to um, go over and grab you some fall goodness this one is called this collection is called autumn thicket it's got some shrooms in it it's got lots of ferns and uh, nature and greenery and stuff like that in it now this is the kit that I've been getting just the only kit I've been getting here lately because I have so much Cocoa Daisy that I need to use up some of it before I get back into <laughs> getting a big kit. Uh, I, I tend to hoard my Cocoa Daisy stuff. So these are the, um, this is the stamp uh, monthly subscription. And so you get both the stamp set that comes in the traveler's notebook kit and the stamp set that comes in either the plant main planner kit or the um memory keeping kit the one that has the um, cards and stuff in it that's the one i got for um october the extra one i put in my cart <laughs> so that it would come along with my stamp so isn't that cute okay you get the a big bold number 10 you get October and a nice little script. Autumn, uh, pictures with the little checkbox, foliage with the little checkbox, dressed up. You get a nice mushroom image, a nice fern image, and then leaf, a label, and then beautiful and cozy. That's the one stamp set. And then this other one. Uh, it says harvest and it's got um, it's like a dictionary Webster's dictionary description of harvest and then um, what I am grateful for dot 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 uh, acorns with an oak leaf another piece of greenery two tabs those tabs are cute uh, then we've got autumn favorites just us remember blessed and these fit nicely into that little cove in that tab there now um, for me to get this memory keeping kit that I wanted 
one of these stamp sets is already in here. So I'm going to have an extra stamp set. So guess what? I'm going to have a giveaway. <laughs> Another giveaway. Yay. So this is the um, modern memory keeping um, collection, the kit. And see, I got another one of the tab stamp sets. Um, because this one just so happened to come in this kit that I don't subscribe to every month, but that I wanted as an add-on to what I already get each month. So I've got an extra stamp set. So I want um, y'all to comment with, um, let's see, what do we want to comment with? And I will um, draw for a winner next Friday. So let me think about that. Let me think on what I want you to comment with. Hello Autumn. It's like a, a, an acrylic kind of, and it is raised up piece. Enamel dots. Their enamel dots are always so beautiful and go right along with everything. Um, beautiful little blank tag that I am definitely going to be stamping on. Look at these little tabs to go around either planner rings or if you're making one of those uh, little brag books or something, you could put that around there. These are the cards. I'm going to get to those in a minute. Okay, you've got alphas in like a taupey brown color. Cursive alphas too. Then you have uh, chipboard pieces. And with these chipboard pieces, usually what I do, just because I don't want too much dimension in my journals most of the time, is I will peel off uh, the back of them and just have that flat surface. I'll put my own adhesive on the backs, but those are cute. And then I start white cardstock in this one. I didn't even notice that was in there. And then the papers are so pretty. Love wood grain, y'all know that. So, and look at the back of that. Look at those beautiful tags on that. Mm, fussy cutting time. Love it. And then same thing again there. Um, usually my favorite in these is the die cuts. You get two packs of die cuts this month and then, uh, the cards, but look at those decorative clips talking about paper clips. Look at those. They're the leaves and they're like a coppery color. Very cute little paper clips. And then we have these die cuts that are so stinking cute. All right, so they're leaves and labels, and they all have wording on them. So this one says, you don't get to tell me what to do. You're not my dog. <laughs> uh, autumn is my favorite color. It certainly is. Uh, fall is what uh, let's say fall is that beautiful moment between sweat and hypothermia. <laughs> uh, and if you're wondering what this is, all of their die cuts are self-adhesive, so they've already got adhesive on the backs. Um, these are funny. Uh, autumn is a second spring when every leaf is a flower. Pumpkin spice makes mama nice. <laughs> Uh, and all at once, summer collapsed into fall. My train of thought derailed. There were no survivors. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, funny, funny. Um, autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. All I need is a good book and a cup of cozy. That's for sure. Uh, oh, my gordness. <laughs> I love fall. <laughs> I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers. Hocus Pocus. I need to focus. <laughs> I need I need to put this one on the end of my nose. <laughs> oh goodness. A perfect fall day. 
some days I amaze myself. Some days I leave my keys in the fridge. <laughs> And then we're back to Hocus Pocus. I need to focus. Um, it's okay if you fall apart sometimes. Tacos fall apart and we still love them. Ain't that for sure. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm thankful that my blessings are bigger than my problems. Amen. I love that die cut pack. So that was my driving force behind getting this kit other than these gorgeous colors and everything else that's in here. <laughs> I love that die cut pack. All right, let's go through the other die cut pack. And like I said, all of theirs are self-adhesive. So um, you don't even have to add your own adhesive. Uh, if you are traveling, you can just take these with you and peel it off and put it on so you don't have to take your big glue bottles with you or anything. So that's a plus plus. A little banner, some leaves. Look at that nice little vintage art piece. Look at those mushrooms. Beautiful. Little leaf. Autumn. October days. Uh, my favorite color is autumn. The view from here. Favorite things. A warm cuppa. A little nice ticket. That's cute. This one is too. I like the vintagey aspects in here. Um, Coco Daisy is not always vintage, but uh, this one is beautiful. Crunchy leaves. Look at that. See, so these will definitely go in my journal. So the reasoning behind me getting them. Lovely. Okay, and then the cards. So you get four by six cards and you get three by four cards. Take the little wraps off of them. Um, the four by six cards, Hello October. And then Autumn exists to remind us that things must end to begin again. That's that's right. Uh, you get an October calendar, but I would use this. It's like a ledger paper on the back. Uh, I am such an autumn person. Give me a quiet, cozy spot with a simple view of gorgeous trees with colorful leaves on a crisp autumn day, fuzzy socks, a warm drink, and a good book, and I will be in all my glory. That is awesome. I love that. But look at the back of it. How pretty. Oh, all the feels. Autumn. And then on the back. Gorgeous. Okay, so we'll go through these little ones. I won't read every one of them. <laughs> Too pretty. Oh, I love the typewriter fonts that they put on these. Happy fall, y'all. These are just gorgeous. I love those mushrooms. <gasps> oh, I could see that as a flip out. So pretty. Because both are both sides are pretty. Mm. Gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. And I'm totally fussy cutting those out. Oh, I don't know. I'll probably just use that side. Oh, they're so pretty. Sweater weather, y'all. Which I was saying the other day to somebody. Um <laughs> They were like, uh, don't get out your sweaters too soon because a hoodie's going to give you a heat stroke in Alabama still in September because it's supposed to be like in the mid-90s next week. And I was like, mm, I wear short sleeves and flip-flops year-round, so just because I'm so hot-natured. So no worries with me wearing a sweater anytime soon. Ready, set, decorate. I've already done that, too. Um, leaves, nature, chestnuts, pumpkin, full moon, flannel. And it's autumn spelled out. How cute is that? Man, y'all, this artwork is awesome. Beautiful. Oh, I love that one. All I need is a good book and a cup of cozy, like that other um, die cut said. So that one might just go in my book that I'm reading right now. Beautiful. 
So anyway, that is the October uh, Coco Daisy kits that I got. They have plenty of other uh, kits there. Planner kits, traveler's notebook kits. Um, they've got sticker kits of all kinds. They have their Bible journaling sticker kit that I used to get. I've got so many of those. I need to use a, use a lot of them up before I um, subscribe again. But um, I do have an extra one of these grateful stamp sets that I will be giving away. So, to um, enter your name for a uh, chance to win this stamp set, and I might even include a few other little goodies in that package that you get, I want you to um, comment with, I need more ideas for our fall bucket list. So comment with your favorite thing to do whether it's a place to go, wherever, whatever, comment with what is your favorite thing to do on a fall bucket list or what do you like to do during the fall? What's one of your favorite things to do during the fall season? So anyway, I want you to comment with that and um, you comment with that and I'll put you in a drawing um, and we will pick the winner for this stamp set and a few other little goodies to uh, go out in the mail next week. I will uh, draw for that winner next Friday. So thanks so much for y'all sticking around and uh, watching me go through some happy mail that I got. I really, really, really enjoyed uh, opening all this happy mail. And uh, this was my very first pen review. I mean, actual pen review. And no, I didn't get anything from Sharpie S Gel for doing that. I just saw them and wanted to try them out and uh, thought, hmm, I'll share that with all my peoples on YouTube too when I do that. And one of my most favorite ways to use stamps is uh, stamped on top of collage. So I had these Project Life cards that are just three by four pieces of cardstock. That's all they are. So even if you don't have Project Life cards, just cut down some of your cardstock that you have a lot of cutoffs into three inches by four inches and you've got a Project Life card. That's it. That's all Project Life cards are. So anyway, um, on this one I have rounded the corners and so this looked this or this look just like this one so the backs are the same I had to find the one with the same back um, looked just like this one before I covered it up and um, I just covered it with scrap paper out of my little scrap pile this is my bowl that has all of my smaller scraps in it and so this card is finished I just uh, collaged and then inked around the edges and stamped on top and then added a little um, chit chat sticker from Tim Holtz onto the fronts of the little mushrooms and then my mushroom image on my stamp set is hollow so it's not colored in meaning it's not black um, like this one is so on those one of my favorite ways to stamp um, those and not have to color them which I can color I have um, lots of markers for coloring but um, my favorite way is just to stamp it on some scrap paper that is uh, patterned so that's what I've done here and I just fussy cut them out put two on there and then put that little phrase sticker on top so I'll show you from scratch this and then one of these is going to go in my giveaway and I'm also sending whoever gets this stamp set remember I had an extra stamp set and that's what I'm giving away whoever gets the stamp set also is getting a sharpie s gel in the black ink they're getting two of Missy's fall paper clips the stamp set of course and then four of these project life cards to um, alter themselves so anyway there might be a few other little things in there too but uh, they're going to get one of these cards too that I alter in their little goodie bag so 
Remember, I need you to comment with what your favorite fall thing is to do. Um, you know, there are just certain things that you can do during the fall, and then there's certain things that, um, you know, during hot weather, it's just too hot to do. <laughs> uh, during the summer, you just can't do it. So let me know what you do during the fall. That is one of your favorites for when it gets cooler weather and stuff like that. So I just start adding on stuff. And um, I let it hang over the edge so that way I can come back and cut it down. Um, your collage is going to look like a hot mess at the very beginning. I say that every time I do collage, y'all know that. Um, it is. It's going to look like a hot mess and um, it will be fine. Just keep going. Got this little piece that's got floral on it that I really like. And I want to put it up there. I don't know why I keep reaching for my ink. I guess because I've got it right beside me instead of my glue bottle, huh? Put it there and hang it off the edge too. And then I've got a little bit of book page. Look at that. It's so tiny. I shouldn't have kept that, but I did um, for times like these, right? And this little bit of bag. I like that. Let's add that on. And I tend to add glue onto my base surface instead of my piece, but you know, I go back and forth. Whatever you're comfortable with, do that. It's fine. Um, let's see, this little green piece is pretty. Let's add that somewhere. We can fill in that spot there. Okay, and then this is kind of like a mini master board. <laughs> I like that. A little miniature master board. And sometimes we need a little bit of a smaller um, real estate piece <laughs> to work on. Sometimes those 12 by 12 boards are intimidating and it's okay to need to go to something smaller to start out with. I just kind of cover up and cover up until I'm satisfied with the result and then cut off all the excess. Okay, so I got a spot there and a spot down here that I need to finish covering like that. So let's just put a little bit more glue on there. I looked up to make sure I'm still in frame. Okay. I'm at the bottom of the frame, but I'm still in frame. And let's add something on the back side there, kind of plainer. And then we can add on our book page on top of it. So I don't want to cover up all of that green, so I'm going to come up some with this tea stained paper. And just cover about like that. And then put our little piece of book page on. There. And you'll notice I did not um, distress ink any of this before I put it on. You can um, go over it and dirty it up a little bit like I did on those. And see then, all of these look like this before I cut it down. And that's where the hot mess comes in. And then you just use your scissors and... Um, these are fast becoming my new sticky scissors just because I think they cut a lot better. Especially if I have some thick cardstock on the collage that I need cut. These cut just a little bit better for me. And these had been in storage forever. I'd forgotten I even had them. I was going through some stuff for some mystery boxes 
that we were doing for y'all in the shop and I found these and I was like oh my gracious I forgot all about having these scissors I just barely have a little bit over here to cut off just trying to watch so I don't actually cut the card itself the base and then all of that gets chunked because it's just sticky little leftovers okay and then you've got something that looks like that little pieces everywhere and you're going to dress them up just a little bit so you need that to dry just a few minutes before you ink the edges and round your corners if that's what you're wanting to do so that one is done let's start on this one and I want to put autumn favorites right there on that yellow paper I think that's very cute I need to scoot up some so I'm not pulling all my projects to the very bottom of the screen for you huh okay take that mm, let's do the dictionary part first so that's coming on that um, giveaway stamp set the little dictionary phrase and I'm going to just ink off a little bit every once in a while with that and then take this off and don't do as I do do as I say <laughs> and wash off wipe off your um, stamps right after you use them don't wait around like I do I have a pile sitting beside my um, kitchen sink right now waiting to be washed oh that's cute I like that autumn favorites and then I'll get two little mushrooms cut out to put over here on this side and I think a pink one definitely to pull out the pink that's right there and then let's do one of these orange ones so I'm going to fussy cut those real quick so there's the cute little mushrooms all fussy cut out aren't those darling love them and then put them kind of side by side maybe one a little higher than the other one just like that cute 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 yep I like that and I'll go ahead and glue those on and I mean these come from my scrap stash too just the little pieces of pattern paper that I had left over from another project and then gave them new life by stamping on them and fussy cutting it out and then this is the chit chat um, from Tim Holtz we have these in the shop we have the VersaFine black onyx ink in the shop we have the um, what is this walnut stain oxide ink in the shop uh, so um, and that shop of course scrapbookingwithme.com inspiration I like that one let's use that on this one so yeah whoever wins this stamp set is going to get a little care package too so not just the stamp set from Coco Daisy cute and now I think what would finish it off would be a few little white splatters so I'm going to do that and I'm not going to get my messy mat out and just get that picket fence ink the spray and just dot it on there we go that one got a little much there but I'm good with that we're okay look how cute that one is I love that all right and then this one this one has dried enough that we can uh, round the corners so I'm using the middle round on my three-way corner round punch that we also carry at scrapbookingwithme.com 
<laughs> what can I say? I'm a living, breathing advertisement for our shop. Because, I mean, we are a small business and I support as many small businesses as I possibly can. Um, it's just in my nature. And I guess the biggest reason it's in my nature is because I own a small business myself. Um, I am a small business owner with mom. And um, I just love supporting the small business. The As some have called it, the little person. I love doing that so we would love for you to support us too um, definitely the dark pink mushroom is going to have to go on this one and let's do hmm I think the pink would be a little too much on that one so let's do the green and orange one on this one and then we can do two pinks the light pink and the dark pink on this one I'm going to move these so I can move my projects up a little bit so y'all can see them a little better there we go okay and let's get that um, hmm that blank space there that just has food color paper on it is screaming for some kind of something to put on there um, like we did on that one what I'm grateful for and then our word that we put down here with the mushrooms can be something that we're grateful for that will be cute and let's do this in the black instead of the brown like we did that one and I'll need to move that down just a little bit so I can get my eyeballs on it good. Oh, I like that. Bold. Yay. Too cute. All right, look, I cleaned off my, <laughs> I cleaned off my stamp right after I used it. Yay me. I'm going to get this and do it in the walnut stain I just love that script dictionary type look to it very cute okay and then maybe a nice little fern too let's get this little fern stamp off and do one just off the edge here let me get a scrap piece of paper so I can put it on there should have been doing that the whole time so I don't get it on my mat and I want to do just a little bit of the fern off the side there and then off the side on that side. Oh yes, I love that. I think I want to do the fern here on the bottom. I love it. And then do another one off to the side here that's been off stamped. So it kind of looks like it's in the background. Beautiful, okay. So that's good with the fern. Put that back. And then I'm going to cut out my mushrooms for this card. Okay, so there's one and there's two. Let's switch a rule. Yeah, I like that. I think I might just barely trim off the bottom of that one just to have a little bit different look to it and uh, what I'm grateful for let's use perfect. the perfect one one of the things I'm grateful for kindness yep that one's going on there all right I'm going to glue down my little mushrooms and then put on my word phrase my little word sticker 
cute. Make sure that my mushrooms are all nice and glued down. And then trim off that bottom piece. Oh, I like that one. Pretty. Okay. And let's go ahead uh, before we do the little splatter, white splatter on that one. Let's go ahead and get these cut out for this one. Put that back in my pile. I'm done with my scraps. I'm going to cut this off the top here and put that back in my scrap pile. I hadn't used the little acorn yet. Let's do that. I love these stamp sets. Okay. I love that and maybe have it yep where it's coming down like that and do I want to put let's do it in brown since we have that fern and black oh that's pretty yep I like that let's do just a little bit of the edges over there on that side cute and just off stamp it there and then the dictionary or definition and do it in black and I'm going to off stamp first and then come in and do it there we go off stamp again cute Oh yeah, I like that. All right, let's do just a little bit more right there and there. Okay. Good, good, good. And then let's do them kind of layered on top of each other. Yep, I like that. And then we'll pick out our little phrase that we're going to put on. And then the little word phrase, adventure. Ooh, I don't know. I think I want to put on a, a white background one on that one since that's a little dark down there. Let's go to, yep, and find adventure there. This will be the only one with a white word phrase on it. I'm good with that. It's the only one that was kind of screaming for it. Oh yeah, I like that. All right, I'm gonna lay them like this and just use this as my catch-all and hopefully it catches it all. <laughs> okay. And then try to just get a few little drops on this one. Yep, that's quite enough. And then have them off here. Yes, I love those. Love how they turned out. And I mean, unless you just watch my video, you would have never known that they look like this beforehand. <laughs> uh, I love altering stuff and I love making something out of nothing. One of my favorite things ever, ever. And then collage, of course, is my favorite way to make something out of nothing. Um, I love the nice new clean look of my desk since I got my new um, transparent mat. Uh, things just show up so much better, in my opinion. And I've heard some of y'all comment the same thing. So um, I really, really enjoy this mat. And I have this listed in my Amazon storefront in the description box below. So if y'all want your own transparent mat, clean look mat, go and grab you one too. So that does it for this video. I hope y'all have enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to have a great day and enter the giveaway. Bye y'all. <laughs>